and their motion their motion we measure the speed in their motion we measure the speed then how that things are moving whether their motion is uniform or non uniform so on the basis of this we have two types of speed or two types of motion so we can say it is the types of speed types of speed actually we categorize the speed into four types one is uniform speed uniform speed second is non uniform speed non uniform speed third is average speed average speed fourth is instantaneous speed instant tenuous speed these are the four types of speed now we'll see one by one first uniform speed uniform speed means uniform same when anything is moving if its speed is same throughout the motion for example for example once again we consider that you are traveling in your car in the car the speedometer if you if you see the speedometer when the car is at rest the meter shows zero if the meter shows zero the car is at rest once the car moves and on the highway it is traveling while it is traveling you are seeing you are observing the speedometer in the speedometer the needle shows 60 that means the car is traveling with the speed of 60 km per hour and you are watching this speedometer continuously in that the meter the, the the pointer is constantly at the point 60 the pointer is continuously remain at the same value 60 that means your car is traveling with the speed of 60 km continuously that means the speed of car is the same throughout the motion then we say the car is in uniform speed so, so uniform speed means the speed of an object is the same throughout the motion then it is said to be in uniform speed we can define this uniform speed in other way also for that suppose we are taking a straight line and from this point the car is going to start at its motion at this point its position is zero and at the time we are going to observe its motion that the time is also zero in the beginning always we consider the time is zero the position is also zero that position also known as origin it is also known as origin from this point it is going to start its motion and for this motion to measure the motion we have watch to measure the time and we are observing the motion by counting the time i have the stopwatch in the stopwatch the time comes 5 second in 5 second suppose the object has reached 10 meter it means from this point it has covered 10 meter distance 
in how much time? 5 seconds. Then in the next 5 seconds, that means at 10 seconds, it covers next 10 meter, that is from the origin, it covers 20 meter. In the next 5 seconds, that is 15 seconds, it covers 30 meter. Like this, in the equal interval of time, in the equal interval of time, see, the time is changing equally, we are counting equally. In the 5 second, in the next 5 second, in the next 5 second, next 5 second. In the equal interval of time, the distance covered is also equal. Here, distance covered 10 meter. Here also 10 meter. Here in between 10 meter, 10 meter. So, in this motion, the object covers equal distance in equal interval of time. Then it is said to be in uniform speed because in the whole motion the speed remains same. We can calculate the speed. Now in this interval, if we calculate the speed in this interval, from this point to this point distance is 10 meter. So distance 10 meter in how much time? 5 seconds. So it is equal to 2 meter per second. Now coming to this interval. In this interval also, from 5 to 10 seconds, that is 5 seconds. From 10 to 20 meter, that is 10 meter. Again it is 5. Here, to, to find out this 10 meter, you can write in this way also, 20 minus 10, final minus initial. That is 10 minus 5 is equal to 2 meter per second. In this way, if we calculate 30 minus 20, 15 minus 10. This is 2 meter per second. And this is 40 minus 30 upon 20 minus 15. 2 meter per second. See, in the whole journey, the speed remains same. Now we can say the object is in uniform speed. Uniform speed or it can also be it can also be said that it is in uniform motion. It is also in uniform motion. We can say uniform speed as uniform motion. This is how uniform motion is defined. When an object covers equal distance in equal interval of time, then it is said to be in uniform motion. Otherwise, we can define in this way also, if an object travels with the same speed or constant speed throughout the motion, it is said to be in uniform speed or uniform motion. Okay, this is about the uniform motion. Now coming for the non-uniform motion. For the non-uniform motion, from the word itself we can say, the speed is not constant, non-uniform speed. The speed is not same. For this, if we see, in the first 5 seconds, it covers 10 meters. In the next 5 seconds, let us take the distance traveled. Is, it, is, it reaches the point 25 meters. Now, how much is the distance traveled in between? From 10 to 25, that is 15 meter. In the first interval, 10 meter. Second interval, 15 meter. In the next, it is reaching the point 45. So how much is the distance travel? From 25 to 40, 20 meter. In the first interval, 10 meter. In the second interval, 15 meter. In the third interval, 20 meter. Then again, if we go to that, that is 70 meter. Now you see. In every 5 second, in every 5 second, the distance covered 10 meter, then 15 meter, then 20 meter, then 25 meter. In this way, the distance is continuously changes. If we calculate the speed in every interval, in this interval, the speed 10 minus 0, 5 minus 0, that is equal to 2 meter per second. In the next interval, if you find the speed, that is 25 minus 10 upon 10 minus 5. 
Here it is 15 upon 5, that is 3 meter per second. And then here, it is 45 minus 25 upon 15 minus 10. It comes 20 upon 5, that is equal to 4 meter per second. In the next interval, 70 minus 45 upon 20 minus 15. Now it comes, if we calculate, 25 by 5, that is equal to 5 meter per second. In the whole journey, if we find the speed, 2 meter per second, 3 meter per second, 4 meter per second, 5 meter per second. Continuously the speed is changing. So, the object is in non-uniform speed or we say it is non-uniform motion. So, this is about the uniform motion or uniform speed, non-uniform motion or non-uniform speed. These are the two types of speed which we discussed. The remaining two speeds we will discuss in the next session.